Good morning, everyone. How are you? Hope everyone's doing well. Thought I'd come on. It's a new week and I uh, thought we could use a message. So I just got through doing my own personal message and I'm going to share it. Um, the song with you. I've posted it to my community um, page. The, um, the meatloaf song, I would do anything for love. Um, playing very loud and clear. I have cleared the energy. I've got Sage going, but that message just doesn't want to leave. So I'm not intending to do a Twin Flame reading, but this might just turn out to be one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I really am getting, I'm getting the message for May. And again, this, you know, we're just going to see what reading this comes out to be. I wanted just to do a weekly reading, um, but we do enter May this week. And it just feels like May is going to be a time, especially for Twin Flames, to remember. How do I want to say it? Retrieve. Spirit has given me the word retrieve. Retrieve the sensation of when you met your twin. So of course, I know not everyone out there has met their twin, but you've, you know, if, if you've met them in dream and haven't met them in person, however it is for you, but you know, maybe this is the message is just specifically for those who have had communication or contact or, you know, connection with their counterpart in this lifetime. Um, I'm not sure how that is going to translate, but I just feel like May's a big month and, and we're being asked right now to start tapping into that energy. You know, if you have to go back, read old journals if you've journaled about it. Um, look at old pictures if you have something about, it's not about... Um, dreaming of a, a a time long past it's about pulling up remembering putting on something again that is like putting on a coat that oh i forgot how beautiful this felt to wear this material or something i don't i don't know how to even express it it's not about again it's not not about sitting and dreaming and oh i wish it was like that again no, this is about remembering that initial, I just got chills going all the way down my spine, the back of my body. Remember that initial moment of when your souls were like dancing in joy. The humans probably didn't know what the fuck was going on, right? But the souls were just so elated. The soul, you know. I don't want to say souls because it's one soul, but you know what I mean. The two, the consciousness was just so elated at having found the other. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, that just feels like big energy coming in for me uh, for May. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just see where this reading must go. I have no idea. I I have no idea. <laughs> so, you know how this goes. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, leave it for the next person. And I don't need anything in the comments that are derogatory. I love you. But this space is not for that. I don't know. I guess I needed to say that to somebody. I, I love I love my subscribers. I love the comments I get. Um, maybe somebody's thinking about saying something or writing something on a video, and they <laughs> it, it wouldn't I don't know it wouldn't be a high vibe or whatever. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no, yeah. I just keep saying I have no idea. So this is interesting. Um, I, I, I don't know what that is, where that's coming from. So when I was doing my own personal reading, I, I noticed how 
difficult spirit was making it for me to get to the reading. You know, I had one deck. I couldn't even open the box. I was like, are you kidding me? It's a box. The box is not going to win. I finally did open it, but it's just an, you know, it's metaphor. It's a metaphor for how difficult this journey can seem. Um, when I stopped and I just relaxed, the box just opened. And it, you, again, that message coming through, you don't have to push this. You don't have to push the river. This is coming to you. I'm feeling that I've got big time and twin flame energy wanting to come out. So let's just tap in. Spirit, whatever you want to bring through, um, we're open to receive. So thank you. Building blocks. What else? Going to get a few types of, uh, two different types of decks here for the beginning messages. Anything else from this deck? Thank you. Oh, that glitter. Is, ooh, that, ooh, that's been coming out lately in a lot of the Zodiac readings. Um, about some kind of, um, is there any, one more, anything else, please, Spirit? Um, there's a, there's an energy in the field. So, of course, when twins start vibrating at the same level and start coming into, you know, spiritual union and then physical union, it's just that light gets brighter to the dark forces that are out there. It gets brighter to those in our physical realm that don't understand or, don't have her back so that's how that's coming through for me i feel like there's going to be a little bit of a ten temptation orphaned Whew, totally different energy than what i am picking up bottom of the deck they had me peek at it justice uh the to be fair card the justice energy I feel like right now that somebody, I feel like it's in the past, has chosen something that thought was, that they thought was, oops, sorry, <laughs> stretching my legs, um, the spirits just got me needing to expand everything and my legs and arms are out, my back is straight somebody's coming to or has been in the awareness and now it's time to move in a different direction um somebody has made a choice and ha and has come into the um like a big aha moment of um yeah, this was not what I thought it would be. Or this person isn't as shiny on the inside as they appear to be on the outside. And there's a lot of grief here with that orphaned energy. It's, it's coming through as Five of Cups energy. Um, there's regret. There's grief. But they're looking to build something new here. So they may be going through a tower moment right now, maybe an ending of a connection. That just really brought the energy down from what I started to, when I first pushed play. Very specific message is gonna be coming out here. What else do you wanna say about this, please, Spirit? One, I'm hearing one card from this deck. One specific energy. Thank you. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. What did I say about that? About when our light starts shining brightly. When our counterpart and I, our, car, our counterpart and us, not I, I, um, uh, us, when we're vibrating, when we're coming into union, we're vibrating at the same frequency and that our light bodies are or one light just shines so brightly and um, 
th that could that could leave the door open. I, it's just a side message, just to be be on, um, be aware that we've been through this before. Yeah, if you've been on this journey for a while, you know that when the energies get hyped up, and your you know your frequency rises, that raises rises increases let's use that word um that um there's always something some, a person a situation a trigger um an energy that comes in an entity that, that comes in and just tries to steer you off course tries to put that light out i don't think the light's going out I and mean, it never did anyway but i feel like um this is just an indication for you whoever this resonates for that you are so this is a 28 card, reduces to a 10. And I, I was going to say that the old cycle is ending so the new cycle could begin. You are reaching your destination. Fully transformed, fully in a new energy. See what wants to come out. I'm gonna get ten cards. Five on the top row, five on the bottom, and then I'm gonna get a bridging energy um, for each set. The spirit doesn't want me to see the cards, so they're gonna come out reversed or not reversed, turned upside down. <laughs> Just saying, don't peek, don't peek. That's one. Yeah, I feel like after that orphan energy and all that glitters energy, I, I need, need need to lighten this up a little bit, Spirit. That it felt really heavy coming out. It just it took me from up here and up way down there. So be careful that um, whatever this all that glitters is. Uh, I mean, if it's meant to trigger you, it's meant to trigger you. I'm taking this one, taking another one that flipped out. Not gonna look at it. Um, just need to make sure these are going back in the setup right. What else, Spirit? Yeah, just be on your toes. That's all I can say. That's just a side note. It's like we've been, we've done this before. It's not our first time around this rodeo. Um, especially if you're watching my, my videos, it's... I mean, I don't know, maybe you are new to the journey, um, but for the majority of us, world hat, one, two, three, four, five, all right, you're about to reach the destination you have been working very diligently for. Fully transformed, fully protected. I'm also hearing now. So that's a, so, so that um, hang on here. I can't do two things at once all of a sudden. So yeah, stay focused. Don't let things distract you. Whatever this all that glitters is, uh, that might be coming in or has has already shown itself. Don't let it distract you from your destination. Final card, please. Oh, I'm being very specific here. One card. Then I'll get the bridging energy. Thank you. Page of Cups, King of Swords, Temperance. Okay. Um, take a look here. I'm going to do the top row. Love those images. that so that was a great example of um distractions that i've been gone for a while here before i could get to push play there was a 
you know, picking a brush, the, the count, the, the village is picking a brush and there was a big log out there. So it took a, took a while. So yeah, I'm sitting there going, oh, you know, starting to get little peeves. So this, this energy here is just reflecting, you know, that's just reflecting what, you know, don't let something deter you off your, your, your path. Um, this, so I've got, let me show you the cards. King of Cups, Three of Wands. I love how these are standing tall, very erect, very sure um, of themselves. Solid. Got the Seven of Wands in the middle, and this one's really speaking to me. Nine of Cups, and then the Five of Wands. What I was able to, you know, thank you. So actually that wasn't a distraction. That was a moment for me to really tune into the energies here. And the message was that there is someone who um, could be a divine masculine, does not have to be. This deck that I'm using has male and female kings. So, um, and the emperor, I, I love, I love that. So, this could, you know, but there's, there's something here about, um, I know what I want. I, I'm going after what I want with this three of wands, but there's a hiccup here in the middle of this love that this is in the middle and how it's looking to me. It's right below this, all that glitters card. And it's funny because when I was, when I got that meatloaf song, I was doing my own personal reading, so that song could just be for my own twin flame. Um, but I shared it with the public because I feel that many would resonate. Um, that's a song that came through when this card came out. I, I, I've gone through hell and back, and I'm going to continue to go through hell and back. I would do anything, anything, for love. And this is this seven of wands right now is speaking to me as a pivot point. It's a pivot point. It's like he's breaking out of there. He's using all of his might, all of his strength that he's gained while behind bars, while in, you know, metaphorical prison. He's fighting for his happiness, everything he's wished for, everything we've wished, wished for. But there's a little thing here at the, the end here with this five of wands. And, you know, we've got, we're not even halfway through this reading yet, so... The message I got through here is there are players that are being moved around. You know, this is a chessboard. There are players being moved around, but there are some that are not moving as easily as others. And this is where this energy, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, whoever you are, you know, this top row is your energy. So let's take that, you know, but it could be the person that you're thinking of or the situation that, you know, you're in. This is like, I've gained my inner resolve. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm stronger. I'm wiser. My heart is open, King of Cups. And he's got love written, written on him here in a tattoo and big letters. The, the fact that that the word love is in is larger than any of the other tattoos he's got on his body tells me that love is, is his, his foundation. Now he's prepared to build a new, you know, he's building on love. It's a firmer foundation. He, he, he or she has faith that their destiny is going to be reached that everything that they've met their they've been manifesting is coming true wishes granted nine of cups let's take a look at the bottom row here underneath the king of cups is the star card underneath the three of wands is the empress beautiful underneath the seven of wands queen of cups to the king of cups i love that so we do have a divine connection here Eight of Wands, communication, that's below the Nine of Cups. Let's talk about our happiness. Let's talk about building on this. Let's, there is a little caveat here saying let's not get too carried away. 
we've got to take this one one step at a time it's kind of funny this is kind of coming through like um uh, Knight of Pentacles energy this energy could be really fast and it's not about s s slowing it down so we can like self sabotage it this is about these messages that you know have been guiding us all along these like spiritual messages it's been, just been moving us along toward our ultimate goal you know we do have both wish fulfillment cards on the table here nine of cups and star so it is manifesting here. But yeah, there's a little bit of a, something about we're gonna we're gonna want to move very quickly. The energy's gonna feel like we want to move. But it's this has been coming out in all of the readings. Like we're it's gonna feel like we want to move very quickly, and it will still move along. But there's something here about not getting carried away. I don't know what that is. Underneath the Five of Wands is the Five of Swords. Oof, there's your... Mm, oof, oof. There's your self-sabotage. That's... There's other people sabotaging the situation. Let's take a look at the bridging energy. What bridges the King of Cups with the Star, please? Yeah, I just wanted to... Yeah, Spirit's like, well, you didn't talk about the bottom of us. I don't think you have to. I feel like I, the bridging energy will pull things together for me. King of Cups and the Star card. What is this King of Cups wishing for? What is the wish? There has been healing here. Emotional healing. Mental healing. Physical healing. Yes, Four of Wands. This is his wish. Their wish. Union. Reason to celebrate. Stability. home i'm hearing home i'm hearing i want to bring you home and um, so whether you've moved out or left or they have i mean something about home coming back home three of wands and the empress please manifesting a new birth a new cycle oh that's a lot Take them. Take them, I said. Oh, there's four. I thought there was three. Ace of Cups. Manifesting love. High Priestess. You feel this coming. Whoever's watching this, you feel this coming. You feel things shifting. There's the the world card there. And then the, the third five. The five that's missing is the five of pentacles. Which we've got that. You know, we've got five of cups here. It can be five of pentacles too. Feeling left out in the cold. Um, but I was picking up a little more regret with that energy. Um, wow. So yeah, definitely birthing something new. Oh no, wait a minute. I take that back. Five of cups is the one that's missing. And there it is. Duh. <laughs> All right. Watch me talk to yourself, Mary Jo. Um, I'm just joking. Smiles on my face. Five of, this is the five of pentacles. I don't know why I saw that differently. Yeah, really this is just an illusion it's five of pentacles feeling orphaned feeling left out this is just an illusion but number one that the person who is giving this message to you wants you to know they have regret they have not felt they have broken out of um quite possibly a, a financial situation that left them high and dry i'm hearing um, but it is you, Divine Feminine, their Divine Counterpart, coming through with the High Priestess here. Your faith, your communication with them telepathically has g given them the energy, I'm hearing, to start a new cycle for themselves. It's not how I would read those cards, but... That's the message coming through, and I'm sticking to it. Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups. I fought for you. I have been fighting for you. I have been fighting for you. I have learned healthy boundaries. I have learned um, to 
emotional boundaries. But I'm afraid that in the in the process of doing that, I pushed you away. I feel like this this dude in the Seven of Wands is asking for some forgiveness from this from the Queen of Cups here. And she feels like she's remembering, you know, like reminiscing and looking back to um, how you opened their heart in the first place. The initial activation. Take a look with the bridging energy is, please. Can we narrow it down? Thank you. Thank you. The lovers. Yeah. You've kept me going. You know, this doesn't have to be a twin reading for sure. Um, it's, it's really just a story about someone who made a choice that they regret and they've shifted their perspective. They've begun opening their heart they I feel like other people in their lives have shown them what kind of life they want to live and what kind of life they don't want to live they know now how to make decisions from the heart space where before it may have you know, it, it may have, uh, they may have put a wall up, you know, the seven of wands is, you know, some can be out of balance. It's, it's a wall around your heart. Feeling defensive and needing to, you know, always put, close the door or put that, the wall up when people come toward you. But queen of cups, ace of cups, king of cups, you know. This is an energy in the lovers, you know, this is, this is an energy of the heart opening. But there is that, that all that glitters just stares right at me. And it's like, you know, we do, we have to be very vig vigilant when our heart is open and when we wear it on our sleeve, right? This is someone who's wearing their heart on their sleeve. This could be you. This could be someone coming toward you. Either way, whatever you've wished for is coming because you've done the work, you've raised your vibration, you've cleared out, you've broken down everything that didn't serve you, that didn't support you, people, places, things, ideas, beliefs, you know, patterns, whatever it is. And now we move forward with the heart open and able to make decisions for our overall best interest. Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, communication, fast moving energy. What's the bridging energy here, please? We have the Empress and the Emperor on the on the table here, but the Emperor comes out with the King of Wands, both in the feminine um, imagery. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is about knowing who you are, standing firm, being confident, taking control of your, your life, your thoughts, your emotions, not letting other people not letting other people, other people dictate for you. Yeah, um, on the love, the side of the, the, the twin energy, the twin messages, um, because this is bridging the nine of cups and the eight of wands. So these are messages. So we do have messages coming in from a divine masculine energy. 
again, male or female, you know how I roll on this channel. Messages. They could be coming through telepathically, first and foremost, strongly. Maybe this is... Um, Yeah, I feel like the communication that's coming in will begin to open the heart up again. Maybe, you know, maybe this, I'm speaking to the one who's, you know, the divine feminine who has closed the heart and not, not even knowing that he or she was closing the heart because I'm, you know, I'm going to put up healthy boundaries. I'm not going to allow myself to be in those situations again. And then all of a sudden you realized, you know, it, there's a little bit of a, a barrier around the heart. Love's trying to get through in little ways and, 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 it, and it kind of reaches you, but it doesn't penetrate you. Wow, somebody needed to hear that. Um, five of Wands and Five of Swords. Let's take a look at this energy. If I'm reading this as a weekly energy, by the end of the week, you're going to either have already dealt with this or are going to be in it knee deep for some, I'm hearing. Some people don't want to leave. They're just, they're, I feel like they're fighting. They're, they're clawing. They're fighting tooth and nail. They're clawing to stay in your life. And you're clawing to get out of the clutches for someone. A six of Wands. Good news is you're going to have success. Victory. Yeah. I feel like this is just the, yeah, this trigger is not going to, you're going to see right through it. You're going to see right through it. Ace of Swords, Sun, you're going to see right through it. You're not trapped. You know that now and you can move forward. Spirit is guiding you for sure. Got the Moon card and the Hierophant. Spirit is definitely guiding you to something very spiritual very deeply emotional um you got the nine of cups and the star for sure it's a it's a wish fulfillment you may some some may have a new spirit guide coming in or a new mentor um i feel it's on a spiritual level and this person might also be having that coming in as well but yeah i love that I feel like these other people, whatever this other that glitters is, it doesn't have staying power, is what I'm hearing. Because you've built yourself up so strong, standing very tall. Very self-assured, very confident. There's no ego coming, bleeding through from that. Very balanced in your masculine and feminine energies. You know, we do have, I love that we've got the kings in the feminine energy. We've got queen of cups here. We've got the king and queen, or we've got the, man, the feminine emperor and empress energy. Very balanced. You know when to listen to your intuition. You know when to take action. And you're you're being guided by the divine for a whole new emotional experience here. And you, and you know it. You know it. Um, totally not the reading, the energy that I was sitting in as I turned the camera on. But um, I'm glad this message came out. Could be twin flame doesn't need to be this could be your own personal message could just be the energy of the week there is like again i'm going to say that there's a little asterisk that i need to put in here that just be aware of the other energies that's it the other energies that don't wish for you to shine and to have Whatever it is that you're moving into. One final card from the healing spirits, please. For the collective. But this 
resonates with. Any guidance, please? Any insight? For some, it didn't come out on the table, but I'm fe feeling it in my physical body. For some, this has been a this five of wands and five of swords. It's a heavy burden. And I feel like whoever this energy is that I'm picking up on, they may be kicking themselves in the ass for having stayed too long in whatever this situation was. Because um, the message that came out in the beginning was somebody made a decision that they are deeply regretting right now. But the great thing is that they've made a choice from the heart space to be on a new path. And this didn't happen just yesterday. This is something that's been in the works for um, a while. Okay, final card, please. Thank you. Oh, I've got two, two, I think. Yes. If the world around you seems turbulent, stop. And true love can never really be lost. I love that. Let's take a look at... These are short little messages in here. the world around you seems turbulent, stop. Know that it is because you are connected to the guardian spirits that you have the sense to pause for reflection when life spins out of control. This is when you go into within to seek answers and the great guardian spirits will reach you through your still mind and allow you to balance your energy before going on. Only when you can find balance can you affect, can you affect the elements in motion and bring calm to the chaos. So seek that balance now. Every journey must include places to stop and reflect. That goes along the lines of <clears throat> what I was saying in the beginning about that that nostalgia or whatever it is. You know, I feel like this is this is where we've been. We've been reflecting on, especially you know, I'm speaking to the twin collective here. We're being asked to really go back and remember and pull that back up about how, what the sensation was when you first met your twin. Things may, you know, the world is chaotic right now, so find your happy space, right? Find your happy space. True love can never really be lost. <clears throat> Excuse me. To love another is a wonderful thing. To be loved in return is the highest state that human being can achieve. The ascended masters in the higher realms of the spirit world have known true love, have known love beyond the human condition, and remind us that love in the human form may be perceived as incredible bliss when you experience it, or deep sorrow when you feel its absence. But when it has truly touched your life, it is forever, and neither time nor death can destroy it. Authentic love lives forever in your heart, not your head. And that is why it hurts, <clears throat> pardon me, when you fix your thoughts on love, lost, or otherwise. It's best to feel it in your heart. That's what we're being called to do. Um, uh, feel it in your heart where it can truly be understood and experienced. Remember, the head was made to think. The heart was made to feel. Yeah, so I, I, I get that, especially being on the twin journey. You know, the longer it goes on, it's really easy to get stuck in the head, stuck in the thoughts about the journey and the doubt and the whatever that comes up. 
I, I'm really, I mean, I feel like that's what May is all about for, for us is, is remembering from the heart space, remembering what it felt like energetically, spiritually, how, I mean, just, just, re, just pull that back up because it's not gone. It's still there. We, we just got so inundated and clouded with the journey that we forgot the love. I don't know. That's, I appreciate that message myself, but you know, I feel it's a great reminder for, for anyone, whether you're on the twin journey or not, if you've lost, you know, someone that's transitioned. Once you felt that love, it doesn't go. It never leaves. True love can never really be lost. No matter what the outside world looks like to you right now, what your human experience is, I'm going to leave it there. Whew, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I love you. I love you. Till next time.